so we're going to now um, justify the use of a particular function. Um, we have uh, had a chance in this class to look at uh, one particular function uh, on your calculator, normal cumulative distribution function. Um, and what I'd like to do is kind of use what we've learned so far about permutations and combinations to um, and learn how to use that um, and, and an alternative to, to uh, some of the more difficult formulas. We have something called binomial um, PDF. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just simply kind of talk about it and then justify it. Binomial PDF is a function that can be used to answer um, a question such as, um, let's say that you're going to have 10 trials of an event. Maybe you're going to have 10 kids, or maybe you're going to shoot 10 free throws. If the probability of a success is uh, 50 or 0.5 um, and if the question is what's the probability of having exactly two successes you can answer that question um, so that's uh, that's the setup for this given some number of trials and the probability of success on any given trial what's the probability of having exactly two successes so in this scenario let's let's uh, let's say that we're going to have uh, 10 kids probability of a girl is 50 percent what's the probability of having exactly 10 or two girls I'm calling I'm considering uh, the uh, success the, uh, of the event of having a girl that's a success being the event that we're that we want to study and if I punch those numbers in, um, binomial PDF is a function that will always have the very largest number first and the very smallest number second, because the second number will always be a fraction, and the first number will always be the number of trials, and the final number will be the number of successes we're interested in. And if we look at this, it looks like the answer is 0.0439, or about 4.39% chance of having exactly two girls out of 10 kids, given that the probability of a girl is 50%. Now, you get there, it's under distributions, right? So if I um, hit second, let's clear this, if I hit second, and then select distributions, and then scroll down to binome, PDF and hit enter. I am therefore, um, you know, then available. I am there sitting at um, this prompt so that I can enter this information for a binomial scenario. Um, for example, let's say that you have, oh, let's say you have a basketball player who's going to make it to the free throw line um, 20 times. And if it's a really, really bad free throw shooter, um, and then let's say they're they only make uh, their 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 percentage is thirty percent. So what's the probability that you could take that free throw shooter and uh, put him to the line? Let's say that we'll ask what's the probability that he'll make ten exactly ten. Uh, now, realistically, we really want to know what's the probability he'll make ten or fewer. Uh, that's a that's a different uh, different conversation. But the probability that he'll make exactly ten um, is such a small, precise number that we're interested in. Meaning, it's a narrow number; it's not a range. That this fraction is going to be pretty small. Um, so, the probability that he'll make exactly ten is is uh, is point oh three. Now, what I'd like to do is justify that. Um, 
kind of the thinking that goes into that function, the binomial probability distribution function. Um, it takes its argu as arguments the number of trials in Let's do this. So the number of trials in throws, it could be the number of kids, the probability of a success, and then the number of successes we're interested in, uh, for, uh, and then the number of successes that we're interested in, right, we're really trying to figure out what's the probability of having our successes. Um, this function here is ultimately what binomial PDF is calculating for us. As long as we put in those three parameters, N, P, and R, we're able to, um, to, to calculate those probabilities. So the one that we just did was um, the one where we plug this in and we ended up with 0.049 just the probability of having a girl if the probability is 50%. But what happens if the probability um, the probability of having a girl is 50%? It's a 4.9% of having exactly two girls. How does it change if the probability of having a girl is 0 0.52? Um, so that's the one that you're going to see me use a number of times um, in the classroom. So let's go back and do this again. I'll go um, second. Include a second entry. That brings up the previous entry. I'll do second entry again. And then I'll do second entry again. bring this up. There it is. So after calling second entry a couple of times, we're able to go backwards. Um, so I'm going to drop in probability of 0.52. Uh, probability of having the girl being 0.52. And the probability of having exactly two girls is 0.0342. So let's put that in here. Is 0.0342 or 3.4 percent? So if the probability of having a girl is 0.52, right? That's that probability of this Bernoulli trial, right? A Bernoulli trial is an event that's either a yes or a no, success or a failure, boy, girl, hit or miss. Um, if we do several of those Bernoulli Trials. Essentially, we have what's called a, a Bernoulli, a, a binomial probability distribution that gets generated. Um, so we looked at the probability of one of those um, trials out of the uh, um, being or, or having a probability of 52% or 0.52. So the probability of having a girl is 52, or if having exactly two girls is 52%. Now, um, I'll stop here and then and then continue on in the next discussion with a kind of a more um, in-depth exploration of where this formula is coming from.